We've looked at how we are supporting our environment, but what about our communities? Thriving local communities are fundamental to the success of our centres, and it is essential they feel a sense of ownership and pride in their local Hammerson assets. In this episode, we're looking at the socio-economic aspects of net positive and how Hammerson gives back to the communities in which we operate. For me, this is probably the subject I've been most excited about. So I've come to Cabot Circus in Bristol to see a great initiative Hammerson is supporting, which is proving to be a massive benefit to the local community. So Liam, what is Pop-Up Business School? We wanted to change the way that business is taught, so we made our own presentation. We sort of run five and ten day workshops teaching people that you just need passion and to take action just to really go for it. What we can do is teach people ways of sort of starting or growing businesses but then they've got an opportunity to test it on customers walking right past the store. Can you tell us a bit more about the role that Hammerson plays? Um, Hammerson are one of our sponsors and what they do is they actually provide units like this and actually help pay for the courses that we come on and it just has a huge impact what, 140 plus people that have got their own business in a community now thanks to having this retail space or having an office that we used. It's been really good how people have engaged with the things we've done, the activities. What advice would you give to anyone wanting to start a new business? What I would say is just use the resources around you. What can we borrow? What can we exchange in skills? Like I'm a great photographer but I'm not good with numbers so what can I exchange to really get going? It's about if you're going to fail, fail fast and fail cheap and as well, do something you're passionate about. And it's been amazing. I've been really impressed to see so many people and so many ideas come together today. Behind Marseille's sunshine and beautiful views, it's a city like any other, dealing with poverty and social exclusion. So how can Hammerson support our community around the Terrasse du Port? On s'est dit que créer un programme où les, où les jeunes pourraient en même temps apprendre euh, à, à faire de la vente en conditions réelles et en même temps être formés euh, par des vrais professeurs euh, pouvait vraiment avoir du sens. Super. Et donc toi, tu as été un coach dans cette expérience. Euh, comment ça s'est passé J'ai coaché deux jeunes, euh, deux jeunes filles. Euh, bah, super bien parce que les deux sont en poste, donc je suis ravie. Alors grâce à ce collage, j'ai réussi à avoir un poste de responsable de magasin dans une boutique qui est juste à côté, justement. Dans les terrasses du port Dans les terrasses du port. Super. Mais il y a une vraie euh, velléité à Marseille, de, 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 en tout cas d'aller chercher ces jeunes des quartiers euh, qui peuvent être un petit peu plus difficiles euh, pour les aider à mettre le pied à l'étrier euh, au monde du travail. Et puis, euh, au-delà de ça, chez Amerson, c'est aussi un peu dans notre ADN. Combien de jeunes sont passés à travers ce cola et quel est le taux de réussite alors en fait, depuis deux ans, on a eu 80 jeunes qui sont passés euh, et en plus de 80% qui sont aujourd'hui euh, en poste, soit en CDD, soit en CDI. Super. C'est un beau projet. This has been really inspiring. It shows that businesses investing in education and training can have enormous positive impacts for the people right on the doorstep. For the final stop on this epic journey, I've come back to Dublin because there's something going on here that focuses on the generation who really benefit from investment, young people. The Cucullin Heart Challenge is a business, enterprise and citizenship challenge. We had Hammerson professionals from marketing and finance and commerce and they were working hands-on with the young people. They offer their business advice and insight to them and the young people then come up with creative ideas for community action projects. The whole idea is that after the day is over, the school can select from a range of those projects and actually implement them. And it makes them feel as if they've got a stake in their future, that they matter, that they can make things happen and that they count in society. Do you feel that you've developed any new skills today? Yeah, you... before I probably wanted to have done a lot of you. And what were the, kind of the highlights of the day or anything that... Well done. Yeah. Well done the conversation there. <laughs> So Hammerson's involvement really shows them that they are the future and that they can make a difference now. It was just amazing to find out how she came up with the idea, how passionate she is about empowering students and helping them build their business skills and their communication skills and collaboration skills and preparing them for life after school and their career. 
as said, net positive seems like a huge challenge to, to reach by 2030, but quite hopeful that we'll, we'll get there. But it's all about dialing up a bit more. What I learned as well is the extent to which it's a responsibility for Hammerson. Yeah, Hammerson can be an example for other businesses. It is something that we should all be taking part in. It's good to be reminded of that and, and yeah. remember this experience that we went through and, and that there's a lot happening behind that's really important.